um, Chodesh Tov. It's uh, the last few minutes here of Chodesh uh, Rosh Chodesh Iyar. Uh, the Chodesh Arizal says, Ani Hashem Rofecha, that's the Rosh Tables Aleph, Yud Yud Reish, it's Ani Hashem Rofecha, the month of Rafuos and Yeshuas, Amen. for Klag Yisrael, that's Hashem. Uh, so uh, David Goodwin was uh, on, the, on, the, on the phone, the iPhone, at the last year uh, when we spoke about Yom HaShoah, and uh, he also had some questions, and some people emailed in some questions. We really wanted to uh, get back to some of the points uh, that, uh, that I was talking about, and just uh, maybe explain a little bit more um, uh, some of the ideas that, that came up. So I, I want to just make a, a, few, a few points, and uh, David may interject with some questions along the way. Uh, you know, playing the role of uh, you know, people uh, listening who, who you know, thoughts along the way. So I, I just want to um, say a few, a few things. And I, everything I'm saying here, this is you know, what I've heard from my Rebbeian, these uh, you know, things that uh, you know, have, uh, have been macabre over the years. And uh, um, so you know, first of all, idea number one is the following, that you know, when we're talking about a hashkafic uh, concept, a hashkafic topic, it's not like halacha. It's not like halacha that there's a right and a wrong uh, and a yes or a no and uh, this is the way and that's not the way. Uh, you know, if somebody comes and says that uh, you know we're going to have a new way to drive uh, cars on Shabbos, but you know and it's okay now to, to do malacha on Shabbos, but it's not. So that that's outside of the box. That that a person we could say is wrong. Uh, when it comes to hashkafa, uh, unless something is is violating halacha uh, and included in the halacha is yudim ikrim, the thirteen principles of faith of the, of the Rambam, uh, unless uh, unless uh, uh, it's violating halacha, so there's no right or wrong when it comes to hashkafa. That that uh, that's a very important point that very often is lost and and very often uh, is not talked about in that manner. You know, people talk about their hashkafos is right and another one is wrong. And, and uh, again, as long as it's within the boundaries of halacha, there's no such thing. It's not like halacha that there's like a posik and everybody has to uh, follow that posik. Hashkafa is like people. People are different, and the Chazal say just like their faces are different, so too are our deos, where we act differently, you know, we think differently, we see the world differently. And therefore, there are many different legitimate uh, hashkafic approaches uh, to any topic uh, that's going to exist. Uh, and it's not a matter of, of right and wrong. So that, that's, that's number one, unless something is, again, outside the box of halacha. Mm-hmm. So that, that's first of all. Uh, and uh, you know, especially when we're talking about a topic like this, uh, you know, su- such a massive topic, uh, you know, in truth, again, this is just from a you know, of Myra Bain, but, you know, there, there is no right and wrong. There is no only one way. And I explained you know, the way that I, I was uh, explained it as follows. You know, there, there's no question about it that the Holocaust was a massively significant event uh, in, in the world and in Klai Yisrael, both the Shemayim Uva Aretz, right? Obviously in Shemayim, uh, the way that we see the world, you know, through the Ramchal eyes, you know, in, in the heavens there are tremendous things obviously going on uh, that brought about and had allowed for the Holocaust to be, like, uh, you know, uh, like we were saying right before we started recording, uh, you know, God does everything, so God did the Holocaust, right? There's some, something very, very powerful happened. Now, uh, do we understand what happened? No. Nobody understands what happened. Nobody knows what happened. People learned all different lessons uh, from it. Right? Uh, some people learned wrong lessons from it. Right? A person who went off the derech. I'm not judging them. God forbid. I'm not, I would never judge a person who was in that situation. Uh, you know, but, but that's not the right lesson to learn. That there's no God. Yeah. But all the different lessons that could have been learned from the Holocaust that don't violate halacha. Right? Those are all legitimate hashkafos. And nobody, nobody has the the answer of why the Holocaust happened and what we're supposed to learn from it. All we do know is it was something very significant and something that impacts every single uh, Jew alive today. And it's something that we have to uh, have as part of our consciousness and, and have to learn from. Uh, what we learn and exactly the lesson that we take, uh, there are many, many different ways to do that. There is no right and wrong. Right? So it, it's the same thing with the establishment of the State of Israel. There's no question that there was a, a massively significant shift in the past uh, 150 years um, in in the world and in Klai Yisrael and, and uh, you know I, I don't I don't know anybody who, who denies this I'm saying when, you know uh, when the Balfour Declaration uh, took place uh, the Chafetz Chaim uh, commented on it that this was the start of the Geula uh, many of the Gedolim in Europe were mityaches to many of the events that happened uh, leading up to the establishment of the State of Israel uh, as events of significance uh, you know and uh, these, these are things that are in print and these are things that are said over uh, you know in their name now exactly what that significance is. Is and what it means and, and what, it, what we're supposed to learn from it, so that there could be many, many different legitimate approaches to that uh, just the same. Uh, the only thing that's not legitimate, in, in my opinion, you know, are those approaches that delegitimize other opinions. You know, I mean, let, let's, you know, let's take, you know, two kitsoni, two extreme, extreme um, um, opinions. You know, let's say Rabbi Yol, the Satmar Rebbe, 
who certainly saw the establishment of the state of Israel as an act uh, of extreme significance and extreme power and importance, but in a negative way. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he saw it as an act of, uh, a, not a positive, and we're not going to get into why he held that way. Uh, yeah. and, and obviously the other end of the spectrum, let's uh, take uh, you know, uh, Rav Kook and uh, Avram Yitzchak Kook and his Talmud, and they obviously mm -hmm. saw, saw this as the beginning of the Gula and something extremely powerful, and, and this is what they've been praying for uh, you know, all of these years for. Right? Uh, so anybody today who's going to come and say, you know, he's right and he's wrong and he, he doesn't know what he's talking about, he doesn't know, so that, that, that is, you know, no, nobody is a greater Talmud Chacham than the Satmar Rebbe was, nobody is a greater Talmud Chacham than Rav Kook was, uh, you know, who's alive today. Uh, there are legitimate ways to learn these sugyot, it's a sugya, the, the, the Holocaust is a sugya, it's a topic in, in Torah. The, 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 the establishment of the state of Israel is a topic and there's many, many different legitimate ways to learn through a topic and to come through to legitimate, completely, radically different conclusions uh, from that same topic. And, and that's, hash, hash there's no, you know, and, 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 that's, and, that's, and that's what we see. And again, you know, it, it's, it's, not a, it's, not a, uh, you know, it's not a failure in Kal Yisrael that there's no consensus on a topic like this. It's meant to be this way. Yeah. There's meant to be Spartan and Ashkenazim. There's meant to be different types of people. It's meant to be this way. Not all people are alike. There was always Beishamai and Beishil. It was never meant to be that everybody had the same head and acted the same way. Because I'll say this many, many different places. So again, as long as something is not violating Halacha, it's not breaking the boundaries of halacha. It's not denying aspects of the Torah or, or you know, uh, changing the Torah in, in uh, you know, in actual ways. Uh, so there are many different conclusions that a person can draw, uh, legitimate conclusions, and there is no right or wrong. Every person has to say the A person has to know, you know who they are, who is their teacher, what's their masora, what speaks to them, what, what, how it affects them, and, and, and again, not to delegitimize other other views, no matter how different they are, because uh, th there are many different ways of, of looking at. Uh, at the same topic, but doesn't the but doesn't the establishment of the of the Medina of the state of Israel throw a bit of a spanner in the works? Because because here the, the land of Israel itself is unique, and here there are opinions that say that in order to get to the pure end, which is Mashiach, the base on Migdash, we have to go through this very odd anti halachic there's all different ways of saying uh, you're talking about the Vilna Gaon. No, that's, that, that's, uh, there's all different people, all different, different opinions Rav about the Rav Taifta. There's all different. Everyone. I, that's what I'm saying. Every, every, I mean, again, this is just what I've heard from Meir Bayim. Uh, you know, every Godel that was alive during the time of the, the establishment of the State of Israel saw it in a different way. Uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein didn't see it the same way as. Uh, as uh, uh, as Rav Aaron Cutler, who didn't see it the same way as Rav Vadi Yosef. Who so didn't. collectively, there's, what is it then? There is no collective. There is no, it's not, it's so not what collective. do we do? Uh, so, what's, so, what, what's the matter of what, what, is it, what are you asking? Practically, do I say halal? Do I say tachnun? No. So you, you follow your teacher, you follow your rabbi, you follow your mesoda of, of what it is that you do. You're asking how, how do you see the events and you know how am I supposed to uh, attach myself to them and how do I connect to them? So there, there are many different ways that are available to you. If those you know don't, don't violate halacha, they're not breaking things. Uh, so then you know find which way speaks to you. Um, so I, I'll share with you what I heard. I'll tell you an approach that I heard that to me uh, uh, to me sits uh, feels right and you know has has the right uh, um, you know sense to it. Uh, and I, I heard this from Rabbi Spinner, Rabbi Yosef Spinner, um, and uh, this is you know in in, uh, in print um, in a uh, safer from the. Yeah, one of the big do in, in your shrine, uh, you know, about a hundred years, uh, uh, not a hundred years, but, but uh, around the time of, uh, yeah, that, that, he, he passed away a few years uh, after the establishment of the state. This what this, he spoke about was about five years uh, after the establishment, so in the early 50s, mm -hmm. uh, where, when he was speaking about this idea that he presented as follows. And he said the following idea. He said that when it comes to the physical world and the spiritual world, you know, there are certain concepts that we use the same uh, words, we'll use the same, but, but they act very differently. Just for example, right, the idea of closeness and, and, and distance, right? The, 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 right the vacus is two things that are stuck, that are close together, clinging together, and rechuk is a, is a distance, right? Mm -hmm. But the Torah tells us, mm -hmm. We're supposed to be davuk to Hashem. Mm -hmm. So the says, davuk, can you cling to Hashem? You can't cling to Hashem, he's fire, it will burn up. Mm -hmm. so says, what does it mean? Be like him. Mm -hmm. So he says, you see, that the, the idea of kirva, of vacus, of closeness, when we're talking in spiritual terms, is not physical distance, it's similarity. Uh, maybe the same wavelength you could call it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who is more similar to Hashem 
is closer to Hashem mm -hmm. than somebody who's more emulates dis him. Dissimilar, right? that, that's what creates the concept of closeness. You know, we have this idea even mm -hmm. in the physical world. You say, you know, I have a very close friend in California. Mm -hmm. right? I'm, close yeah, I'm, I'm close to this person. We use that word close, mm -hmm. which usually denotes physicality, mm -hmm. uh, because it means we're, we're, there's something, we're, we're, we're vibing on the same place, we're in the right. same, same wavelength, we're the same, you know, the, the, we have a, a certain connection. Right? Mm -hmm. so that's a concept that we see that the, the spiritual. Um, um, uh, well, I forgot the way. You know, yeah, the, the parallel to, the, to the, the the spiritual parallel to the physical is, is not exactly right. the same. So he says the same thing is true when it comes to giving and receiving. He says when it comes to giving and receiving in the physical world, when I when I give something to somebody else, so the giving and the receiving take place at the same time. And if I put something down here, uh, I haven't given it to you. If you come and take it, right? Giving is is giving it to you, right? The giving and the receiving, he says, take place at the same time. When, when the object transfers, I've given it and you've received it. Right? He brings various proofs that in, in spirituality. It's not like that, that the giving and the receiving can take place uh, in two different, uh, at two different times and, and, and you know, very different. And he brings a different idea about getting into the whole thing. The way he says it's like this. He, he feels, you know, the way he writes is that, uh, and again, another thing that Rabbi Spinner pointed out to me as well. He said, you can't, you can't even, even Rav Kook and Rav Chazamish and Rav Shach, and, you, know, you can't bring what people wrote 50 years ago and 60 years ago and, and apply it to today either. Right. Who knows what Rav Kook would have said today? Who knows what Rav Shach would have said? Who knows? Right. You know, who changed. knows? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's also, you know, so much of his argument is based on, you know, so on sorts of things. It's and there's this bill to go, and then that, but, uh, but there's this, uh, this, and there's, mm -hmm. there's this, and that. Mm -hmm. and it's just, you know I mean? It's all, it's all, mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, uh, that's uh, some so, so, he's, so he said like this. So he said the idea is uh, he the way he framed it is that there was an asina of the gula that took place. Mitzad mm Hashem, -hmm. something happened, something changed, something shifted. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that for the first time in in history since the Korban bias, uh, that Jewish blood is not hefker in the world. Uh, obviously, they still are killing us, and they're still out to kill us. Mm -hmm. uh, but but that there's a, a sense of people in the world caring about. Uh, Jewish blood of standing up for Jewish blood. Just the fact that the whole world is, you know, focused on non -Jewish Israel. Non-Jewish people. Yeah, also non-Jewish. Also non-Jewish. Just the whole fact that the, the, the world <laughs> is focused on Israel, mm -hmm. uh, for good, for not good, in a chitzonistic way. In a, but just uh, so many things that just change in the world that uh, you know, there's no question that something is going on. Again, mm -hmm. something happened because that, again, of Israel. Uh, uh, well, in in this whole the situation of the establishment and the wars and you know, there's no there's no there's no question that there's something so that, that's what he that, that's what he explained it you know you, you can see this in, but but the receiving has not happened yet that's for sure we're not we're certainly not in the most Mashiach we certainly right? we have not received it yet we have, we are not at the place that, again something shifted there's some shift that happened but uh, we we have not done what we needed to do in order it's to, process, to right? make it well, okay it could be or maybe it was the process process that was right. then and then it, it, it sold and failed and we have to start again who knows right, nobody right, knows right, nobody right. knows. Nobody knows, uh, you know. But, uh, but the fact is, he said that there, there's like a, a it's off between the giving and the receiving. That you know, there was an act of an asina here. So in, in one respect, we, we are in the process of the gula, and, and we're even in the gula. The gula has already been uh, put in place, so to speak. The way he says it, right? Uh, but but we haven't received it yet. We haven't uh, accepted it yet. Uh, I was thinking about this. It's very interesting. You know, you find this in, in you know everyone around the world. So many people are focused on Israel. Even you know, I'm talking about Jewish people. Right? But very often you find it, it's a very, uh, it's a very external type of, it doesn't attach them anymore to God, necessarily. Mm -hmm. Again, many, many people who do, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about this phenomenon mm -hmm. uh, that all of a sudden Israel has become this tremendous focus of attention. You have many, many people mm -hmm. who, who focus a lot of their Judaism on Israel and support for Israel. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, but it, it, it's, so, so yeah. they, in other words, they, they see that there's something there, but... but but they're not in receiving they the mode. They're, they're not receiving. They're not receiving it yet. They're not right. really receiving. They, they, they know there's something to get, but they don't. They don't. Right. We, right? And, and, and that's so all of us. All of us. All of us. You know, are, uh, that's why we have we have work to do in order to make it happen uh, for real. In order to you know to receive it, you know, we we have to emulate Hashem. We have to make ourselves close to Hashem. We have to. You know what I mean? But that uh, we do. Know. But uh, that we do know because that's been our. That's yeah, been that's our for sure. That doesn't change. That, that never changes. That so doesn't that's, change. That's, that's that doesn't change. That, that doesn't change. That doesn't change. But. The, you know, look, that, that's the idea. There's no look. You know, there, there's two ways. You know, I, you could say, say the same thing in two ways. You know, if you would have told the Jew uh, for the past thousand years, you know, that, that, that there's going to be, uh, you know, uh, thousands and thousands of Jewish men learning Torah day and night, supported uh, financially, supported by a Jewish government in the state of Israel in Jerusalem, nobody would believe no that way. that could happen without Mashiach. That, that, would, that would be right. saying anything. That, uh, of course, right. that'll be when 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 Mashiach is happening. And if you'll tell them that'll happen, and Mashiach. 
Rush is not here, they'll say, well, he must be right around the corner if, if that's, if that's really right. yeah, but at the same time, you know, if you told the Jew uh, back then in the Shtetl, uh, do you know that there's going to be a, a minister of Jewish education in the state of Israel who's going to print uh, Bibles omitting the name of God? Uh, they would say, this is the Tochacha, this is the Tochacha coming true in front of God. Right? You see, it's right. not this dichotomy of, of what's going on. Yeah. Right. To say that we're in the Geula and we're free and this, that, that yeah, it can't be. Uh, to say that there's nothing, uh, that, that also can't be. Right. Uh, right? Uh, Hashem's mixed now. Yeah, so we got to hang on. You got to hold on. It's a sugi. A person has to learn up. A person has to know how to, you know, to be mista there with it. Uh, the most important thing for sure is that it shouldn't be a, a sugi that causes period in Kali Yisrael. It shouldn't be something that causes descent. And uh, unfortunately, that's what it does. Right? But, uh, but people have to respect that there's other ways to learn, other ways to look at it. And it's not meant to be all the same. We're meant to understand things differently. There's meant to be people who are from Chesed and meant to be people who are from Gvura. And uh, you know, it's that's meant to be this way. That's, uh, that is a very rare thing. Unfortunately, and that's our biggest problem. Well, look, uh, someone was telling me that I can't, uh, you know, even trying to speak about this way is too confusing to people. And he said, you know, in a generation where things get more and more and more confusing, uh, so, uh, you know, w w things have to be presented in a more and more and more black and white, uh, you know, uh, keeps on me in a, in a more extreme way. Uh, because uh, the, the, when, you, when you try to explain in the middle, so then it's too confusing in the middle, and the other person won't get it. So I guess I don't know. I don't, I don't, yeah, I but then along, the, along comes somebody who doesn't think you're aware of okay, well, that. Well, right, that so, you've got to know how to but, deal. Uh, so every person has to try to sort this out uh, you know, for themselves with their mentors and their teachers, but uh, that, that's the idea. So uh, I hope uh, you know, certain things, again, you know, uh, okay. Uh, my, 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 my philosophy, why I made Aliyah six years ago with my family, is very, very simple. We have an opportunity in this generation to live in the land of Israel. It happens to be not the perfect situation. So you have a choice in life, and that is add to the attempt to perfect, because that's what you're here to do anyway. And if you have the opportunity to do it in the land of Israel, why not? Okay, so that's an that's approach my, that many that, people hold, but not everybody. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, uh, that's the thing. There's, there's, there's many different ways to... And there's a lot of work that. to do. Yeah. That's, that's how I vibe with it. Very good. Okay, hope it works, everybody. Chodesh Tov. Bye-bye.